Hello. So was it a controlled demolition or a structural failure? Today I'll analyze with very simple physics the hypothesis of the structural failure. The BFG theory that the responsible, the only factors responsible are Bin Laden, fire and gravity. This is the North Tower here. You had 15 floors here and 95 floors below the impact zone and 15 floors above the impact zone. The pancake theory is immediately rejected. As you see, the columns would still be standing if that really happened. That would assume that the joints are the weak point and therefore the columns should be standing but that's not what we saw on that day the columns were actually crushed and bent so we'll not consider this uh, theory a gravity driven collapse would have been possible if the foundation of the building in here at the bottom has been weakened and then when this block uh, smashes onto this building these foundations which are already weak will break and therefore this will fall and there will be enough uh, distance for the building to build up enough kinetic energy to break up the rest of the structure However, what we saw was the opposite. We saw a collapse beginning from the top and going downwards, which is impossible because the bottom is very strong and the top is much weaker. This doesn't make sense because if there is no need to weaken the foundation of the building for it to collapse and gravity could do the job by itself, then why have we got the demolition industries? Why don't we just use the gravity and just weaken a little bit on the top and let the building just collapse all the way down? This is definitely not possible. Or why don't we use fire and just collapse the building instead of paying thousands of dollars for TNT and explosives? The fire from the jet has melted the columns in this region. Therefore, this top block, this block, came down crashing into this and therefore a progressive collapse. So this block of 15 floors crashed down and crushed all of these 95 floors all the way to the bottom. So first let's analyze the idea of the columns melting the first unrealistic but necessary assumption is that the heat distribution was equal along the whole floor preventing the top block from tipping or twisting the columns if they melt they melt gradually because the there is a process called the heat transfer the, the when you, there's two materials one of them is hot the other one is cold it doesn't transfer, the heat doesn't transfer instantaneously, it takes time to travel to conduct to the other object. So this is why the material or the steel columns here would have lost their mechanical properties gradually. Therefore they wouldn't have uh, let the block come down crashing into the bottom but would rather let it come down gradually and sit if that really happened or uh, lose its uh, 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 stability and uh, pitch and f 
fall out if this is really what happened if we had this uh, had melted however if we assumed uh, as they say that it has just uh, vanished like it melted instantaneously if it really melted instantaneously yes we can have the crashing case we can have uh, 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 so this is what we will assume uh, we uh, I'm going to assume the most optimistic cases in favor of the theory of the structural failure or the official theory so we will assume that one floor vanishes instantaneously is this floor and we will start calculating uh, what would happen with simple uh, physics equations the spacing